Well, um, I think that is very important, specific in this region. As I mentioned uh, before, in Timor Leste is giving us more space uh, as women to, to make our voices heard and also to have uh, direct um, uh, direct opinions and that di directly work in our um, political uh, life in the country. I think um, it is um, it is a fact that if we have more women in power, uh, there is more possibility than we that we reduce uh, the levels of corruption. As we know, women are more um, linked linked to details, to transparency, and, and are actually more outspoken, at least in Timor Leste, about these issues. So. Uh, I think it is it is very important that specifically in this region um, we advocate for that um, mandatory quota for women. Well, um, good news. We have just submitted in Parliament uh, today, yesterday, I think, two days ago, a uh, draft uh, anti-corruption law which is uh, a big step now uh, for us to accelerate the, the process of approving it. We are currently finishing uh, the research that we have started already last year uh, about... We, we are trying to look into the country where are we in terms of corruption, in terms of fighting corruption, in terms of institutional, and uh, where have we uh, we've gone so far in terms of corruption. And we'll be presenting that uh, publicly uh, pretty soon. Uh, so I think those are the two main um, information uh, I have to share and go back to Monastery.